caught you eating, did I, Bella? As you can see, I'm here feeding Bella, so I've topped up Bella's stuff. I need to redo the water. I'm airing the house out a little bit because um, I'm going to stay for a little while. I've actually set some food to come open later on because because she was sicky, we're giving her sort of smaller portions, so like half portions. Um, and then I've also got one to open in the morning. We'll be going to my care job tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be going, I'm working with Jackie actually. So it just means I don't have to come here before going there because I've got to be there at nine o'clock and I'm actually walking the dogs and everything beforehand. So it just makes my life slightly easier um, if I set the alarm and then I will come after that and check on them then I'll go and do all my other jobs and then I'll come back and check on her again um and feed her again later on tomorrow so I'll still come twice it's just that I'm don't have to be here first thing in the morning it just makes life a little easier and in fact I'm thinking of investing in my own one of those for moments like this when I need to make sure the cats have been fed but I just need to go in and check twice on them um it means that I'm not having to do it at the time they must be, be fed if that makes sense just gives me a little bit more freedom to juggle around my activities and bookings i've just been to m&s garage to get some food for later and i'm going to have some ready salted crisps the reduced fat here i'm going to take all of the fat <laughs> from here so what i save here i'm going to be eating here this is really nice chicken caesar dip and i've got a cup of tea as well Kenzie's not going to work tomorrow, which does make my life a little easier. I've got crisps stuck in my mouth now from that food. Uh, we think he's got tonsillitis, so he didn't go into school today. And he's calling in sick tomorrow, so it does mean that I don't need to hang around after my job that I'm doing in the afternoon, because I'd thrown that job into that time slot to fit in around picking him up from work, because it's in the same sort of area. So yeah, my day's going to be less full on. It's only one thing off, but still. I need to go home, walk some dogs before I get comfy. And I need to wash this hair. Having it recoloured. So all the dark stuff will have gone on Wednesday. I'm having it done. So, And then Brendan's going to have his hair cut love that boy if you don't if you're new to the channel brendan is my eldest son who doesn't live with us he lives actually with my parents um because we live in a two-bed house and he was sharing bunk beds with his brother so he moved out two years ago um but he's got like yeti hair at the moment and a yeti beard he's going for the full-on hair as much hair as he can create but he is having a haircut on wednesday with us he still comes back and has his hair cut with our hairdresser it's routine anyway Enough now, Pip. Let's go walk a dog. Is that good? Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Let's go for a nice walk. I'm loving this early autumn light. Or late summer. I'm waiting for this one to poop. Lola has not yet done it. Archie has. Oh, just gonna wee there. Thanks. Right on cue. Anyway, we're gonna go under the motorway bridge. That's what the noise is that you can hear. It's the motorway going over the top. And then we'll walk up that road. There is a place at the end I could have probably a nice cup of tea, but not at this time of the day. I wouldn't have thought we're at six o'clock now. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow afternoon or on Sunday. Oh, come on. Yeah, maybe on Sunday. I'll do that. Anyway, we're going to be in a very noisy bit in a minute. Well, as you can hear. So I'm going to stop talking to the camera. <sighs> it's so nice though. I love this light. It's funny, isn't it? You get under the motorway and it's all quite quiet. Just a hole at the end. I do like evening walks. It's, like I said, especially at this time of year. It's always... It's like it's still got the sun, the warmth of the sun, but when the sun's not there, you get this chill. It was like three degrees this morning. 
we have had some amazing um oh sorry i'm just trying to okay let's let's go out this way the footpath is disintegrating and turning into uh brambles <laughs> um what was i gonna say we've had some amazing something oh my god menopause is so hard <laughs> and i'm having a breeze of mine but it's in my brain for one minute and then it just goes and i i can't remember it's gone totally gone we've had some amazing something or other can't tell you what it was i remember amazing cloud formations so during the storm yesterday there was like brightly lit up cloud formations that just looked amazing like really lit up like a landscape with then dark clouds above it which then looked like the sky so it looked like there was land in the sky like floating island in the sky oh here we are she's having a poo now just i was waxing lyrical about beauty she's having a poo i'm in the next village now the village with all of the very big expensive houses the big gates yeah this is a very nice village, but it is pricey. That's the Chilterns across there, where I would walk the Sprockers when I was walking them. No, not Sprockers, the Spaniels. They were proper Spaniels, weren't they? But I do like these houses along here. I knew somebody who nannied in one of the houses. They're just a rambling house with lots of space doubles up of many bedrooms and bathrooms and yeah just have one of anything they had like I don't know many many bathrooms and laundry rooms like how many laundry rooms do you want but one was a utility that was purely for laundry and the other was a utility for the cleaning and the ironing and another one was for shoe storage and was like a like a wash room what are they called boot room wet room Yep, lots of lovely old houses. Oh, this one over here looks very modern. In fact, there's quite a few modern ones here. I wonder if they knocked down the originals. That looks very, I'm not keen on it to be fair. You know, that kind of grand designs effect. And then this one next to it, this one's better, at least it's got like the old Cotswold stone effect to it, which is in keeping with like the area. It's been right by the Cotswold, so you know that's in keeping. There's a lot of the villages here that use the Cotswold stone because it is so close. Anyway, let's go further into the village. We're going to get up to the main road in a minute, it'll just get noisy. I'm showered I feel much better for that I had to struggle though with my straightening because I haven't brought my clip with me so I was kind of using my hair bobble to try and section parts of it which is not the easiest thing to do but it worked um, it's straight ish um, I'm gonna make some dinner and a cup of tea it is getting dark out there it's half seven blimey and it's almost dark winter's rolling in isn't it um, I'm going to have a tender stem broccoli and something dinner that I bought from M&S earlier on. But the other thing I'm going to do is use the air fryer and fry up some chicken that I also got. My chicken thighs. I'm going to do two, two chicken thighs with it. Make a cup of tea and then I'll show you my dinner at the end, I think, rather than filming it. I'm coming to the end, I think, of my video. Um... I'm going to try a new thing at the end of this video, so uh, you might want to stay and get involved in that. The hardcore ones of you will stay and get involved in that. <laughs> 
the fact that I'll actually end the vlog with an actual goodbye would be something, wouldn't it? Because I'm really rubbish at remembering to do that bit. This is what it was. Sweet potato tender stem, tender stem broccoli um, with a pea and mint dip. It's really, really tasty. Yeah, that's a pretty good meal. We got all sorts of deliciousness. Delish in there. Crispy deliciousness. Um, it's all mixed up and I've got the, the pea and mint sauce in there as well. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy eating this. Excuse me one moment. Okay, I've eaten that delish food. It was so good. Oh. Eating relatively healthily. I mean, I think that's relatively healthy. It's just, it's just, mmm. Um, I mean, I like junk. I do like junk, but there's something about all of that fresh like the vegetables are crunchy and full of flavour and oh, can't beat it. So many tastes, so many flavours. Anywho, the thing I want you to do before I go, if you've got to this point in my little video, is to leave me something that I've requested. I've seen it on other channels, you see, and I think, oh, what a good way of engaging people. So, leave me an emoji of a healthy food item if you get to this point in the video and uh, in the comment section right there you go wasn't that worth hanging around for <laughs> wasn't anything riveting it was just i want to engage you all because i love having chats with you and you know it's great anyway i'm gonna go now thank you very much for watching you lovely lot and i will see you all in the next vlog